this Pope Francis is Pe Petrus Romanus, Peter the Roman, the last Pope. Now it's very simple, very simple. In a sense, all the Popes are Peter. That's on the throne of Peter. The Pope is just the Roman Emperor. The Pope is an Italian. His parents are Italian immigrants. He's not an Argentinian. He's not a South American. He speaks. He's at home in Italy, in Rome, on the throne of Peter, the Roman, Pope Francis. Now, why is he the last Pope? Well, Pope Benedict, you know, well said indeed, the 16th. you know, apparently has been forced to, to resign. Now, the, obviously, one of the main issues is his cover-up of the child ab abuse. Firstly, there's other things that his butler has revealed, in terms of the financial corruption and divisions, you know, the petty, petty polity and whatever, you know, I don't know, I don't know. It's a cover-up of the child abuse that we all all know about, but which you know the Catholics were in denial. Of. But now we're faced with the simple truth that you know they, they meet to get the cardinals meet together from the beginning, and they have a conclave, a secret meeting, and they decide what the doctrines are. Now. They have an intent for the doctrines. There's a reason for the doctrines. So she will question the intent. It's like with the priests and the abuse of the children. We, it's the intent. It's the intent to, the, for them becoming priests and being put in that position. So we must question the intent of the doctrines of Christian, Christianity. What is the intent of putting an image of a man nailed to a cross into children's minds? Well, that intent is obvious, isn't it? It's to frighten the child into submission, you know, to these pseudo-authority figures, these priests. This is what must be stopped the propagation of these doctrines which perpetuates the intent what is the intent of the doctrine of original sin you know telling children that their mothers and fathers are sinners well that, that the intent of that is to groom the child away from loving its parents is to break up the family just as, you know, this royal family has used it in its colonies to break up the tribes, the doctrine of original sin. You know, your fellow man is bad, your family is bad, your mother and father are wicked sinners. I mean, this is an evil, divisive doctrine, dividing up our families and our tribes. It must be stopped. What is the intent of telling a child that Jesus died for their sins? This, this is surely mental abuse. What is the child meant to think? For my sins, for my petty sins, that Jesus died? What mental anguish and guilt trip are we laying on our children, allowing them to be taught this that Jesus died for their sins this is simply not true Jesus died for leading an insurrection against the Romans 
Jesus didn't believe he was being sacrificed, being crucified to save mankind for all time. You know, if he did, you know, then what's, what of his intent, of his state of mind? What example is that? We see it's the system again wanting us to sacrifice our children to maintain their royal family and their privilege, you know, to die for the country, for the nation. As Einstein said, it, you know, national, nationalism is the disease of mankind. And these religions, these man-made religions, Christianity, which is a Caucasian tyranny, and Islam, which is an Arab tyranny, both man-made religions. But the worst thing is their division of mankind and their perpetual war, they're bombing each other. So this is why Pope Francis is the last Pope. The mental abuse inherent in the evil intent that is developed in conclave, these doctrines of Christianity must come to an end.